today we want to um, do a 4-H recycling project and we're going to make pots out of newspaper. Sound pretty cool? All right, what we're going to do first is you can either have a commercial pot maker like you guys have here or even a bottle will work fine. What we want to do is everyone will get a sheet of paper. Let's stretch out our newspaper across the table. And then you're going to take your newspaper and just roll it around the pot maker. And then if it's like this, this wouldn't fold over, would it, to make a very good pot? Right now we don't have a pot, so we're going to slide it down so that when you fold it over, it's going to be more than halfway. Okay? And then you can just start folding it over and wrapping it like a gift. So fold it down and down. Perfect. All right. After you've got it, just sit it down and push and smush. All right. And lift it up. And if you hold on to the bottom of your pot, you should be able to lift it off. I'm just going to fold mine over here, and I'm going to push and smush mine too. Okay, and then you just lift it off, and voila, we have a pot. Excellent. Now, can anybody see daylight through their pot right now? Great. If you could see daylight, what you would want to do is open it up and re-roll it and fold it a little further. So we did great. The next thing we want to do is decide what we want to plant. And we're going to do jelly bean tomatoes today. So what we're going to do, you guys are going to actually be able to grow jelly bean tomatoes at home. Now, to grow a plant, what do we need? Water, it's soil, soil, sunlight. Water, sun, and soil light. You guys have got it right on target. So we have our container and sunlight's outside. So what do we need next? Soil. Soil. Natalie, come on over. All right, so you want to fill it completely to the top like Natalie has done, and then gently push it down, and you're good to go. If you're doing this in a large group setting, you may want to use a metal pan to put the soil in, or you can use a bucket like we are if you're doing it indoors. We would recommend that you use uh, some kind of tablecloth because it does get a little bit messy and you don't want to have too much cleanup. So we have our soil and we have our pot. So what do we need next? Water. Before we get our seeds. Seeds, that's right. To um, place your seeds, what you want to do is take your finger and make a hole right in the center. All right, now let's cover up those seeds. In order to take it home, we're going to give all of you a brown paper bag to put it in and we'll put your name on it, okay? And just to show you what it's going to look like. Here's what a fresh pot looks like water. And this one actually has a basil plant in it. And I cheated for this demonstration because the pot that that basil was in looked like this. It's about eight weeks old. And you see how it's just starting to disintegrate? But the nice thing is I can put this plant in the ground and not disturb its roots and it'll continue to grow. But when you put it in the ground, you want to peel the paper back so it's not sticking above ground. Because if it's sticking above ground, it's going to take the water away from the plant. So you can plant this, the whole thing. And there is your newspaper pot. 